In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make three different styles of content using Veed's online video editor. So let's say you've just signed up to Veed, you start video editing and you don't know what to make or you don't know how to make it. Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make three different styles of video. The first one being how to make a video like Gary Vee, how to make a podcast video snippet for your social media, and then finally how to repurpose your YouTube video content for other social media platforms. And before I jump right into showing you how to edit each and every one of them, first, I'm gonna go through each different style of video and break it down so you know exactly what to expect. So here, as you can see on screen, here's a video that looks a lot like the videos that Gary Vee puts out. So as we can see, first of all, in the top left corner, we have a little logo. This is for branding. So this is how to upload an image. Then we have the catchy title at the top. So this is how to add text to a video. Then we also have a progress bar in the top right. And then at the bottom of the screen, we can also see some subtitles. So that is the main components to one of Gary V's videos. The next style of video is the podcast video snippet to share and promote your podcast across social media. So here, if we take a look, as we can see, this is in the nine by 16 format. So this could suit Instagram stories. It could suit IGTV, it could suit TikTok, Snapchat. And if we take a look again, we have some of the same components that that we had within the first one. We've got the title, we've got the subtitles, we have again the YouTube logo and a couple of images at the bottom. And then as you can see here, we've also added a nice styling background. And then the most important part to this one is probably the audio waveform that you can see right here in the bottom of the video. As you can see, it reacts to your podcast's audio and it makes your video look a lot more professional. And the best part is that I'm going to show you how to add an audio waveform to your podcast videos and make it react to your podcast's audio in just a few clicks. And then finally, the third style of video is repurposing your YouTube content for different social media platforms. So let's say you have a YouTube channel and you want to share your content from that YouTube channel to other social media platforms. Well, something you should avoid is taking the exact video and posting it somewhere else exactly the same. Don't copy your YouTube video and post it on IGTV, on Facebook, avoid doing that. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Veed to cut, trim and edit your video and take out the snippets that you want to share across your social media, how to quickly and easily change the crop and the aspect ratio for that video so it adapts to specific platforms. And then also one of the best parts is editing that video with Veed without having to download it from YouTube first. You can import it directly from YouTube. And with that being said, let's get started. So as we can see right now, I'm currently in Veed and this is the first style of video, which is the video like Gary V. So if I press play, Hey Instagram, Alec here, and I've just come over from the YouTube channel. As you can see, we have all the elements that we want to add. So instead of starting from scratch, what I'm going to do is show you how to use each tool that we need to create this video one by one, and then I'll let you guys get creative by yourselves. So as we can see, we have all of the elements we need on the video canvas. So we're gonna start with adding some text. So if I quickly delete my title, I'm just gonna start over again. Now to add text, all we need to do is to click on the text tab in the left toolbar. And then here, we're just going to select headline title. You can choose whichever style you would like. And then here, we're going to type in the title that we want. So remember, you want your title to be eye-catching. So I'm just gonna make this big and red. So to change the color, I just click this color button right here and then select red. And then I'm going to make it bigger by changing the font size. Let's bump it up to 72. And then to move it around, all you have to do is click and drag it on the video canvas, select it and move it around. Now I might make this a little bit bigger. So let's just say I bump it to 96. And then I need to make the text box a bit bigger so it fits just like this. So now if I put it right here, as you can see, it looks quite good. However, I think I might change the font. So let's say I change the font to Anton. Now I think this looks even better. I might click and drag it out to make it a bit bigger, but I think it's too compact. And to change the text and to change the letter spacing, all we have to do in the text editor, we're gonna click on the more options drop down. And then here, as you can see, we can adjust the letter spacing. So now if I click and drag this, let's bump it up to two. As you can see, the text is slowly spacing out. So let's bump it up to nearly five. I think this looks quite good. So there we go, I'm gonna leave it at that. So now let's say you want to add a bit of branding, you want to add some images. Well, to do this, again, we're just going to add an image this time. So I'm gonna delete the image and here I'm gonna select upload. And then here we can either click on upload image, but if you've already added images to your brand kit, you can go ahead and choose the image that you want from your brand kit. So let's say I add this YouTube logo. I then hold down shift to keep the correct aspect ratio. Otherwise the dimensions will change just like so if you take a look. So remember to hold down shift, and then I'm just gonna click and drag it and place it exactly where I want it. 
and that is perfect. Now, the next element to a Gary Vee video is a progress bar. Gary Vee always has progress bars on his videos to let his viewers know exactly or roughly how long the video is gonna be and when it's ending. Now, if we take a look, if I quickly delete this, Right here, I'm going to go back to my toolbar and this time we need to click on elements. A progress bar is a pre-built element within V, so it's one of the easiest things you can add. And to add it, again, we just click on elements. And then here we have a bunch of different pre-built elements. And if we scroll down, we can see add progress bar. So you can either add one of these or you can click on view all. And then if we select this one, so for example, I want this one. As we can see, we now have this progress bar in the shape of a circle. And if I, again, hold down shift, click and drag to resize it and place it where I want, I've placed it exactly here. I can nudge it around again on my keyboard. And then I'm just gonna change the color. So the main color, I want it to be red. And then I'm gonna leave the other background color as this gray base color. You can also adjust the opacity, but I'm gonna leave the opacity at 100 because I don't want it to be see-through. And then as you can see, we also have some start and end times for our progress bar, but our progress bar should automatically adapt to the entire length of the timeline when you add it. Now, this is something I want to touch on for the rest of the elements before I jump into the subtitles. So as we can see for the text and the image, in the timeline, we can actually see when and where they begin and when they end. So for example, our thank you text, Right here, if I select it, as we can see, it starts at 3.2 seconds and then it ends at 7.2. Now, if we take a look in our text editor, we can also see these times being displayed right here. So we can type in the specific times that we want manually, or you can just click and drag them straight within the timeline. So I want the text to last my entire video. So I'm just gonna click and drag it to make it last my entire video. And then the same thing with the image. As you can see, it starts at 3.3, but I want it to start at zero. So I'm gonna choose, select the image in my timeline. And then here, instead of clicking and dragging in the timeline, I could either put zero or just click on this icon right here. And then it causes the start time of that image to automatically adapt to where the playhead currently is. Okay, so now what we're going to do is add some subtitles to our video because all of Gary Vee's videos, or I'm pretty sure that 99% of his videos have closed captions or subtitles on them. So to add subtitles to our video, it's very simple. We can add them automatically using Veed's auto subtitle tool. So under the subtitle tab, again in the left toolbar, here we're just gonna select the auto subtitle tool, select the language that we're speaking in in this video. So I'm speaking in English. If I want the British spelling, all I have to do is type in English and then select Great Britain. And then I can click on start. And then here, Aviv takes anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes to automatically transcribe all of the audio from our video into text and turn that text into subtitles with the correct timestamps. So as we can see, now our subtitles have just finished and we can now see them in three different places. We have them in the subtitle editor on the left, we have them in the timeline at the bottom of our screen, and then we also have them on the video canvas. So now if I press play, Hey Instagram, Alec here, and I've just come over from the YouTube channel to say thank you for all the love. As you can see, we have subtitles. Now, the first thing you might have noticed is that there are a couple of mistakes, but these are very easy to change. So in the first subtitle, if we take a look, we can see that it says Instagram Alex here instead of Hey Instagram Alec here. And to change this, all we have to do is go into the subtitle editor, click on the subtitle that we want to change, and then edit it as if it was normal text anywhere else. So here I'm just gonna type in Hey, Instagram and then I'm going to change my name to Alec because my name is Alec and obviously the reason it made a mistake is because when I was talking I kind of merged the two words hey and Instagram together and then Alec isn't a very common name and people in real life often confuse my name with Alex. People call me Alex all the time. So that's how to add the subtitles and then just like any other elements you can click and drag them in the timeline to adjust their time. You can also split a specific subtitle so for example if I want this one to be two subtitles instead of one I can just use the split subtitle tool. So now I've got hey Instagram Alec here and hey I. Instagram Alec here and I've just come over. Just come over from YouTube. So I'm going to undo that because I don't want to split that subtitle. But again, if you take a look in the subtitle editor, you can also input the times manually and you can also use the playhead button to adapt the time to the playhead. Now, if we want to adjust the style of our video, we click on the style tab. And then here, as you can see, just like with the text, we can edit a bunch of different things. We can add drop shadow, we can change the color, we can change the font, the font size, pretty much everything. The text is entirely customizable. And that's how to make a video like Gary V. So once you're happy with it, all you have to do is click on export in the top right. 
So that was how to make a video like Gary V. Now the next style of video we're going to cover is how to make a podcast video snippet to promote your podcast across your different social media platforms. So back into Veed, as you can see here, we have our nine by 16 podcast video snippet. And if I click play, I hope you're all doing great. Welcome. To you can see all of our elements in action. Now we have a lot of the same elements that we had within Gary V's video. As you can see, we have our text title. We have our subtitles. We have an image that we added. We also have the YouTube logo. Now the two main elements I'm going to be talking about here and showing you are the audio visualizer and then the shapes. So first of all, uh, the background color, as we can see, is this pink color right here. So to change the background color under the settings tab here, we have the background color and I can quickly change it to any color I want. So now I've just made that blue right there. So I'm gonna change it back to pink. And you may be wondering how I got this curved gradient. So it goes from pink to light pink to white. And to do this, these are just a couple of shapes I've added. So to add a shape, we just go into the elements tab. And here, as you can see, we can add shapes. So if I'm to select my shapes, as you can see, I can actually adjust the opacity and that is what caused it to go pink. So if I was to change the color to blue, for an example, and then select it again, sorry, adjust the opacity, as you can see, it varies. So again, you can just play around with these. These are just two circles that I've added. I can click and drag these around and I just thought it looked quite nice and it gave it a bit of a nicer touch because if I delete it, as you can see, it doesn't give the same effect adding a little bit of a gradient looks quite good. And now the element that we see a lot of people adding to their podcast video snippets is the audio visualizer. It's this element right here that reacts to our audio. So if I select this, as you can see here, we actually have a bunch of settings that we can add. So what I'm gonna do first is just delete it and show you how to add it. So again, we go back into the elements tab and here at the bottom, we have sound wave. So I'm just gonna select a circular sound wave and add it right here. So now if I click play, social media, as you can see, you can see it right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just click and drag it on my video canvas. I hold down shift to keep the aspect ratio I want. And then I'm gonna change the color and I'm gonna make the color pink so it matches the background. And then what I'm going to do is just turn down the opacity so we can still kind of see all of the main elements just like this. And then if I want, if I make the timeline a bit bigger, I can right click on it on the canvas and I can bring it backward or I can just hold down command just like so to move it in my timeline. So I wanna place it behind myself, behind my fingers, just like this. So now, as we can see, the sound wave is behind. So if I press play, I'm your host, Ali. That is how to add a sound wave. And again, the sound wave will automatically adapt to the length of your video in the timeline, but you can also adjust it by clicking and dragging or manually inputting the times in the sound wave settings. And then here we can also see the control. So we can adjust the minimum and maximum decibel levels. Now, the lower you have your maximum, the more peaking there's gonna be. So for an example, if I turn this down all the way and I press play, and in this podcast, as you can see, we can't see it react at all because as soon as our audio is hitting minus 115 dB, it thinks we're peaking. And then if I turn this all the way up, so let's go 40 dB, which you'll never reach. About everything as you can see, and anything related to social media. smaller. So now I'm going to bring it back down to minus 10. So get comfortable. And our sound wave is reacting pretty nicely. And that is how to create a podcast video snippet for your social media. So now the last thing we're doing is repurposing our YouTube video content so we can share it to other social media platforms. So to do this, I'm gonna create a project from scratch. And we're just gonna click on a new project within Veed right here. We're taken into a new project. And here, when it comes to uploading our video, we don't actually have to download the YouTube video first. What we're going to do is upload it directly from YouTube. Now, as you can see at the bottom here, this is where we need to paste the link to our YouTube video. So if we head over to YouTube, find the video that we want. Now it has to be a public video and we need to make sure that it's this long URL right here. It can't be the short one here, so I can't take this short URL. It has to be the long URL at the top. And now I'm just gonna copy this and then I'm going to paste it right here at the bottom, hit enter. And as you can see, it's now directly imported into Veed straight from YouTube. So now let's say, so now let's say we don't want to share the entire video to our Instagram. For example, we only want to share a small snippet where we provide a bit of value. Now for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not gonna go ahead and find a small snippet, but I'm just gonna show you how to quickly cut and trim it to keep only the video that you want. So let's say here, I only want the video intro. So if I press play, Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to crop a GIF online. So that's all I want. So imagine the beginning, these beginning, the first five seconds is all I want. 
Well, I can either click and drag just like any other element, click and drag the end and trim off the end, or I can just hit the split tool right here and now it's been cut into two clips. So to delete everything I don't want, all I have to do is right click and then press delete. For example, if I wanted a section from the middle, I could choose this section right here, split it and then right click and delete the elements that I don't want or the section of the video I don't want. However, I don't want this either, so I'm also going to delete that. Now what I'm going to do is just quickly click on fit to timeline so I can see my intro video. So now if I press play. Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed and in this video, Okay, perfect. And now, like I mentioned, we want to share this to Instagram. So we need to change it from the 16 by nine aspect ratio to the square aspect ratio. And to do this, we're gonna click on the settings tab for our project. And then here under the size menu, we're going to click on this drop down menu. And here we can select a bunch of different preset aspect ratios for different social media platforms. So here, if I wanted to post it as an Instagram story, I could select this nine by 16 aspect ratio, click and drag, and then resize my video to fit the nine by 16 aspect ratio or if i wanted to make it square on instagram i just select the square one and then i can quickly click on the video and then either click fill to canvas or fit to canvas and we're just going to fill the canvas because i don't want any black bars and that is how to change the aspect ratio to repurpose your youtube video for instagram one thing i might do is quickly add a little bit of text and just quickly put in the youtube link to our YouTube channel so people know that this is where it's come from. That way, if someone ends up really liking this video, they might go and check out our YouTube channel. So I'm just gonna click and drag this, place it in the bottom right. I might make the font size a bit smaller. So let's go with maybe not 30, we'll do 36. Click and drag it, place it here. And then again, if we click on more options, we have some different styles. So I'm gonna make this black and then change it to drop shadow. So now, as you can see, there's a little bit of drop shadow behind it right there. And then again, we'll take a look in the timeline. We just need to make sure that we click and drag to adjust the timing of our little watermark, just like so, and now we're finished. That is how to make three different styles of videos using Veed. If you have any questions about anything we've covered, about any of the tools, about adding text, about adding a sound wave, about adding subtitles, please let us know in the comment section down below and we'll try and help you out as best as we can. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, we would really appreciate it if you hit the like button the subscribe button and the notification bell. And with that being said, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.